But you just said LeBron still hasn't passed Kobe. Yes. LeBron, LeBron passed Kobe before Kobe stopped playing ball. Like, here's, a, here's a fun game to play. Let's go through the last 20 years of the NBA and ask this question. How many years was Kobe Bryant the best basketball player in the league? Because you know what the answer is? Zero. Kobe Bryant, when he came into the league, Shaq was the best. Once Shaq stopped being the best, Duncan started being the best. And come 06, when LeBron in year three finished second in the MVP because they wanted to give it to Steve Nash because he was a novelty, LeBron been the best player in the league every year since then. So LeBron's going on 10 years as the best player in basketball. People wanted to say, oh, and people want to say LeBron handed it to Durant. No, he didn't. People last year sure wanted to give it to Steph Curry. LeBron snaps that sucker back in the finals right when he snaps Steph's heart. So 10 years in a row, LeBron been the best player alive. Kobe's still looking for his first, and since he retired, I don't think he's ever going to get it. Kobe, five <laughs> championships. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right. Cease fire, cease fire, nigga. We hear you. Now, before I go depicting the fallacies and the flaws, in this motherfucking argument, the first thing I'm going to tell y'all is there is no right answer. There is no right answer. Whether you want to want to believe it's a right answer and there's a certain answer, when we're talking about the best at a certain category, there's no definitive way to prove the best. Yes, humans, we all still have the right to have an opinion. We all still have the right to think for ourselves. It's something we are capable of. So when he says the best with the certainty that he does, I must start. My premise must be that there is no right answer before I smash his argument on why Kobe Bryant is the best. Now, to his argument. First thing he said was, I believe it was pertaining to... 20 years back the first thing he said towards his argument on why LeBron's the best or better than Kobe He said let's go back 20 years When Kobe came in the league Shaq was the best Okay, that's his initial that's his initial initial going no analytical He's not doing his job. He's not analyzing anything he's just saying Shaq was the best in nine from 96 to what 2003 without reasoning he's not giving his reasoning for Shaq he's not giving his for reasoning for not why it's not Kobe he's not presenting the reasoning why it's not Jordan because Shaq came Kobe came in in 96 Shaq and Jordan were still around he's dismissing Jordan Probably without knowing because he wants to make his case so bad on LeBron being better than Kobe. He probably omitted the fact that, oh shit, MJ's still here. He could possibly be better. It's still an opinion. Somebody can think in 96 that Shaq is better. He omitted that. Then he, he goes and continues to say, what was his following? Tim Duncan was better. When Shaq was gone, Tim Duncan was better. No evidence. None. If rewind and go back to his evidence, even if he wanted to regard to stats, or he didn't even get, he didn't even do that. So I can't even say that his bias is towards the numbers because he didn't even present too many numbers. He just said Shaq was better, Duncan was better, from '06, and and mind you, '06 was a Kobe year. To, to all the people who, who have eyes and can perceive, you know what I'm saying? The beauty that your eyes present in this world. Kobe was blessed in 06. And it's definitely, well for me it's no debate. Kobe was clearly the best in 06. But it's definitely something I can contrast the shit he just said up here. That LeBron was the best for 10 years. I go forward. His argument he, he regarded MVPs and he regarded titles in which I guess he implied LeBron will get there but he spoke of MVPs being that LeBron had more this is the problem this is 
really the real reason why I came here is because you as fans, as critical thinkers, as beings, as humans, we can't let people try to objectify something so broad. We can't standardize what we perceive as best. LeBron, no matter what you guys say, LeBron ain't clearly the best nothing. There's no fact behind that. There can't be a fact behind being the best. It's all relativity. It's all what we perceive or what we trade our perception in for. Whether you want to suffice your perception for stats. Because apparently he goes straight to the four MVPs. He, you can tell he's a journalist major. He studies and you know what I'm saying? He does the fine work and he looks and with the numbers. How can Kobe be better than LeBron? It's impossible. I don't understand but we have eyes. There's something called intangibles. Some things you can't see with the numbers. When I say Kobe is fearless, what stat can I pull up to show you how fearless Kobe is? When I make my case for Kobe. When I make my case why Kobe the best. Because I'm going to bring up shit like that. I'm going to bring up fearlessness, intensity. I'm going to bring up heart. I'm going to bring up clutch. And then he'll bring up the numbers to the show. Oh, well, in the last 35 seconds, uh, LeBron has more clutch buckets. Did you measure the fast break buckets? Did you measure the easy layups given in that situation? You can't measure that looking at stats. It's impossible. You can't do it. People, and the reason why I do this, and I'm going to post it to that real sports group. The reason why I do this is because people would give their own eyes, will take what they see and substitute it with numbers that'll tell you someone is better. Generally better. Like everybody's opinion. You can't argue it. At one point, 2012, Kobe, I call it the Achilles year, we couldn't argue Kobe being better than LeBron in the streets. You look back in retrospect, if you have eyes, if you have eyes, you can look back. If not, what's the point in looking back? You look back, I followed the whole year day by day. I thought Kobe was the best player in the league 2012. Maybe 2011, 2010, I saw a slippage. But somewhere along the lines in 2012 where he got his surgery, he got his legs back, his jumper was really on point. He wasn't dealing with a lot of bullshit injuries. Kobe was, the Mamba was out 2012, Achilles year. I couldn't argue that he's better than LeBron James. I couldn't do it. That's the main point I'm even on this thing. You guys are making it to where we have to standardize our perception of the best. Think about that. Think about that shit right here. And it's because of guys like him. I only call this motherfucker out because he's in a position of power. He's on Fox Sports or he's on some form of outlet that a, a display to millions. And some people may not be cognitive enough to realize the subconscious message he's doing which is LeBron if you say LeBron's not the best you're an idiot like what he smashed Steph Curry he proved he was the best you can't prove that you were the best <laughs> you can't you can't prove that you were the best it's still something of opinion somebody else has to validate their perception of you being the best you can't prove that. Another part of this argument, I'm rambling, it's all off the top. I don't really write, I don't doodle this shit, I just off the top. Another part of this argument though, did y'all know?